Lamel, he's not bad compared to the girls who try to give you their OnlyFans. Just listen to me. The OnlyFans girls are asking customers to buy their shit. But this guy is just harassing people, man. And you think that's better? Harassing people is better than selling whatever the shit they're selling? You might want to rethink that part. It's content. He's doing it for a reaction. So if he goes to your mom and then touches your mom and then do that shit and you'll be like oh it's a content no right you would probably get dropped exactly dude and also maybe think about the girl who's selling you the only fan shit are you gonna drop that girl do i have to teach you one by one to understand the situation i'm i'm like oh, <laughs> oh come on you could just say, no, my bad, but you go for, I'm joking, bro. <sighs> Why do people always end up being like, whenever I try to talk them out of it, they'll be like, ah, ha, ha, I was just joking, ha, ha. I don't know. For me, myself, I don't know about the others, but it's kind of cringe. You could just tell, told me, okay, I thought it a little bit wrongly, okay, my bad, or something like that, or just like, just like, be done with it, but you go for, like, I was joking. It's a bit more cringe for me. He probably watches this just trash. Yeah, maybe. He's still saying most people don't really care. I just feel like you gassing this up when people do dumb shit all the time. <sighs> so I watched this guy. Uh, I watched Pyro Live a lot. TikToker eats food in front of a homeless man. And I'm so aggravated over this. And there's actually another one. There's actually another one. Uh, very racist dude, but I'm gonna watch this one first because I watched I feel it the bar of entry for a TikToker is much lower than a YouTuber. To be fair, that probably comes from a place of entitlement and more bitterness, and I'll happily admit that. This channel, Power Alive, as I've said multiple times, is slop. It's whatever topic is happening in the past 12 to 24 hours, I'll talk about it, and then everyone forgets five minutes later. But the thing is, that being said, even though it is slop, and I definitely admit that, there is still some small smidgen of effort put into it. For example, when I research a topic, it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do so. Meanwhile, on TikTok, all you really need to do is recreate a popular dance that probably takes you two seconds to learn, or you could just harass people in public. And either way, you'll be showered in admiration. Now, I have talked about a lot of TikTok creators that I just do not like. For example, Mizzy, who, you know, would walk into people's homes, steal dogs for a prank. And the best thing is, I haven't talked about him for a while. He hasn't learned oh anything God. because recently, that guy he did the is exact so disgusting. same thing, going into someone's a fucking apartment criminal. again because the door was left open. This kid is a fucking criminal. I'm actually surprised that he didn't get shot at. Look at what he exactly does. Do you guys know this guy? I haven't been able to find any blood downs. They are there. That all makes me angry already. Look at this fucking TikToker kid. <laughs> Look at him, he literally invaded the fucking house. And then on the complete other side of the spectrum, you've got creators like Spidey. And that's more of like a fragile case. He's obviously someone with a really bad drug problem. He travels a lot from Australia to the guns. UK. And you can tell he's just not in a good state of mind. But today I'm talking about someone very different. Someone Dude. who I personally believe is just inherently a bad person. So much so that recently he's actually had to take refuge on TikTok and Instagram because YouTube, they wanted nothing to do with him. They've banned him. And this creator is none <laughs> other than Trey Sellers. Now, Ooh, Trey actually so came onto my radar because there was a prank that he did. Look at him what he posted does. on loads of meme accounts. The prank in question is he would go up to people and basically say, I don't have any money, I'm hungry, would you be able to get me something to eat? Now, usually this is actually a very popular kind of like prank or social experiment on TikTok. Basically the entire gist TikTok would be, someone them. would be like, no, I don't have any money, sorry. They get rejected a lot Maybe, of times. I don't know. And then eventually someone would turn They're around and be up. like, yeah, I can pay for your food. And then the guy filming would be like, no, 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 that's fine. I just wanted to prove if you're a good person giving money to a complete stranger, here's $50 instead. Now those kinds of videos do really well because you watch it and you go, oh, that was nice. The algorithm loves it because it's wholesome chungus content and it goes, viral everywhere. Now Trey yeah, puts I'm okay a with those ones. LMAO spin on this because basically he finds a couple and they are willing to pay for his food. They're going to give him $5 for like a meal deal. And then he basically Listen says to, to this them, one. it's really good you did that because if not, I would have killed you. Thank you so much for giving me that food. I want to give you this rock. <laughs> now, if you didn't give me any money to get food, I would have bashed both your skulls in with that rock. But I want to say life's about choices. 
and you made a valuable choice and the correct choice. You decided to spare money for that meal and I decided to spare your lives. Oh, fucking you kid, man. You guys are super sweet. sweet. Are you fucking serious? Honey, honey, honey. Bro, get your shit in balance. You guys are really sweet, you know? Don't fucking talk I appreciate like that. that. How dare you, bro? Thank you. Oh, you're lucky. You fucking blow his head off, this this TikToker guy. I, I know you're not complaining about that, but you're a big ass. Now, if you couldn't tell, the entire shtick of the comedy here is just subverting expectations. You expect it to be wholesome content, and it's not. It's just a death threat. I think the saddest thing about this whole situation as well is that couple that genuinely, you know, extended their gratitude to someone, they're probably not going to want to do that in the future. They're going to be very apprehensive of helping out anyone that, you know, genuinely needs support. Now, there was one prank in particular that Trey did that went viral, and this is uh, the lowest of the low. The couple's prank earlier, that, that is nothing compared to this. So what Trey basically what was did one? was he went I, to I a Wendy's, he saw a homeless guy outside, and says oh, to him, you know, do you this want some is the food? Title. And again, this is another very viral trend. People will film themselves getting food. It's a nice act. It really is. It does feel a little bit disingenuous that you've got like a camera team basically filming a, a TikToker or a creator giving food. It feels like they're being used a little bit. I, I think it's still okay because Mr. Beast is literally doing that and I feel it's good because he's still helping people. But... You know, if they get food, <laughs> if they benefit in some way, it's whatever. Trey, again, subverts this by going inside to get food for the guy, only to eat it right in front of him. <sighs> oh, fucking... Dude, Calvary. I want to so smack his so fucking head. It has the third biggest homeless population in the United Looks States. Looks disgusting as ever. It's my job to make sure there's one less hungry person on the streets. Hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, I was wondering, are you hungry by any chance, man? All right, Ben, I got you. Would you like a Baconator, fries, a drink? Is that cool? All right, what's your name, man? Israel, God bless you, Israel. I got you. I'll be right back, man. So the target has been acquired. You've got a homeless guy just sat outside of Wendy's smoking crack, just probably completely off his face. And again, Trey subverts your expectations in a wacky, laugh out loud, hilarious way. One bacon eater combo, please. Yeah, what's up, Yeah, man. I got you a, I got you a Sprite, you know, here, large fry. Got you a bacon eater, man. I was homeless myself, so I, I want to make sure you get on the right path. You know, you're always able to, you know, get back on your feet. You know, so I, just, I want you to enjoy this. No, I kind of started to feel sad about right, this guy. Nice wait, wait, what? what? Why aren't you laughing? That that was hilarious. He just ate food in front of a homeless guy, and that homeless guy believed that he was going to get the food. I'm going to give that some Reddit gold. That's hilarious. I'm going to post that on R Funny, and that is going to be the top post of the week. It honestly really hurts to see the guy realize he's being pranked, and then he just kind of like freezes up. And also, I do want to say, Trey isn't alone in this. Who thought it would be a good idea for this prank in particular to be the camera guy to film not only the homeless guy, but Trey? Now, unsurprisingly, after this, Trey got a fair bit of backlash, and I have never seen more God coping in my entire life. Look at the he basically too. put out a statement saying the entire video was faked. The guy that they knew was in on it, the homeless guy. And then he bought him food before the prank or after the prank. But then the video itself was edited to make Trey seem like the bad guy, like an asshole. Burger Wendy's video with the homeless guy was fake. His name is Israel. He was known around the neighborhood. My friend knew him. He said, yo, Israel, hey, can we get can we get you in this video? Can we get you in the skit? He said, yes, everything was scripted. It was a fake video. I'm not gonna apologize because you guys don't like my fake video. The same people getting mad are the same people who were mad at the Jeffrey Dahmer actor who played him in the series. So if you didn't understand that, his entire argument was basically, I was only pretending to be an asshole why do you think I'm an asshole? It's your fault for interpreting it that way, despite the video being edited like that. And unsurprisingly, that excuse, where he basically just said I was only pretending to be a moron, completely backfired as well. So what do you think he did then? Did he do a well-constructed response video? Did he take accountability? Did he apologize? Nope. He tried to fake his death, and he did this by having his editor post a story on his Instagram saying they were trying to film another prank, and unfortunately, <laughs> Trey died. On Saturday afternoon, we were recording a video in Inglewood when someone got upset with something he said and Trevon was stabbed twice. He was in critical condition for a while and around 4.27pm we were informed he didn't make it. This is not a joke or a game. This was followed with a YouTube video being posted titled The Life of Trevon Sellers. So this is it. Trevon is dead. But as we know recently, Trevon Sellers without a doubt so that's honestly my biggest fear and i won't let that happen
Yeah, bro is so young. God bless his soul. You think you might know who did it? This one's not even funny. Man. This one is okay. This one Rest was like Trayvon, so bro. out of line. But yeah, obviously too. he came out afterwards saying, lol, I pranked you again. I'm the such a hilarious one. troll. And again, it's just rage baiting. But that wasn't the end of his absolutely hilarious top tier pranks. Like the time where he went into a supermarket and just started harassing some random woman there. Well, he's like, oh my god, dude, he's he's like, he's a fucking criminal. Look at that. Look at that guy. He's a fucking criminal. Because you smell so good. Okay, uh, no thank you. Can I maybe smell you? I see that you're doing some sort of weird psychology experiment, but if you put your hands on me again, I will call the fucking police. Get away from you me. You smell like a beautiful vanilla candle. Help! Ray! Don't do that. <laughs> Help, I'm being attacked! Oh my god, this is this is gold by the way. Keep going, keep going. Say say he's black. Say he's black. Um, don't you have security in this store? I went to get chicken nuggets, ma'am. You were Did he just say he's black? I'm sorry, man. All these TikTok all these TikTokers are black for some reason. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, all these like worst TikTokers are black. Black. Say he's black. Um, don't you have security in this store? I went to get chicken nuggets, ma'am. You were next to the chicken nuggets and I went like that on the side. I didn't even touch you. So he grabbed my body. <laughs> what body? <laughs> you know the worst thing is about Trey right. in this whole situation? He has actually gave me a scenario where I'm more likely to side with the Karen than to side with him. Now, I can definitely see some people saying that her screaming rape is like a complete overreaction, which is fair. But at the same yeah, time, that if you're in a supermarket a bit, and you have yeah. a guy filming you and like, you know, touching your hair and stuff being very weird, you don't know what else he's going to do. It is completely unhinged behavior. Now, you're probably thinking, how can he one up that? How can he one up faking his own death, harassing people in public? Oh, he can. So at one point, he realized harassing people just doesn't cut it anymore. It doesn't get the dopamine running. Everyone's doing it now. Every 16-year-old kid on TikTok is like, you know, walking into the back of like McDonald's or like, like Tesco's. So to try and Wait. one up himself, what he did was he- She 2 w Gaming TTV, Lamel, he's not bad compared to the girls who try to give you their OnlyFans. I mean, dude, just listen to me. The OnlyFans girls- or asking customers to buy their shit. But this guy is just harassing people, man. And you think that's better? Harassing people is better than selling whatever the shit they're selling? I don't know about that, C2W. You might want to rethink that part. I don't... I, 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 I hardly agree with you, man. He got a gasoline canister, filled it with water, and started covering it's people's content. cars with it, acting like it was actual gasoline, and he was going to set their cars on fire. And the craziest thing about all of this is there's one guy who, you know, he's doing the prank to, covering his car in water, believed to be gasoline, and he pulls out a gun, and this guy actually shows much more restraint, despite having he's a loaded firearm. a reaction. So, if he goes to your mom, and then touches your mom, and then do that shit, and you'll be like, oh, it's a content... No, right? I know I don't like Karen's too, but she might be someone's mom and everything, dude. She might be your, she might be someone close to you, man. And then you say it like that, you would probably get dropped. Exactly, dude. And also maybe think about the girl who's selling you the only fan shit. Are you gonna drop that girl? Do I have to teach you one by one <laughs> to understand the situation? I'm, I'm like. <laughs> it's really bit... ever has in his <sighs> entire prank career. Come on, man. Burning your car down, bro. Fuck your car, man. Over. No, oh, look at this guy oh, till the end, dude. Yeah. Uh huh. Why do you wanna do it? Come on, man. <laughs> He's pranking to f burn his ca someone's car, and then I. I hope this end up him shooting at him somehow, maybe not killing him, but at least shooting him. It better be water, partner, or you're one dead son of a bitch. You stay out of this. That's the only treatment that he can have, man. I don't want to do that. You almost died, you stupid son of a bitch. Now again, oh, come I on, C2W, you could just say, no, my bad, but you go for, I'm joking, bro. <sighs> Why do people always end up being like, 
whenever I try to talk them out of it, they'll be like, ah ha ha, I was just joking, ha ha. I don't know. For me, myself, I don't know about the others, but it's kind of cringe. You could just tell, told me, okay, I thought it a little bit wrongly, okay, my bad, or something like that, or just like, just like, be done with it, but you go for like, I was joking. It's a bit more cringe for me. I do want to say, thank God, Uncle Fester showed a bit of restraint trash. there, yeah, because maybe. if not, Trey would have been seeing a quick time event into heaven. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this guy because his pranks are just, they're, they're, there's no funny. There's no funny. I've seen a lot of pranksters where they go and like harass people in public. And then at least there's some kind of bit of sweet resolution. Like they'll be like, oh, bro, there's a camera there. Oh, here's $50. The people being pranked are still probably pissed off, but at least they, they benefit in some way. This guy's just an asshole to everyone he meets. Oh wait, no, sorry. He's not an asshole. He's only pretending to be. My, my bad, my bad. I, I, I apologize there. Oh well, I'll, I'll read the rest of the um, chat. Some pranksters hire actors though. Yeah, that's possibility, but I don't think this one is real because the pranksters who hire actors is kind of obvious. This one is not that... I can't see those are actors. Yeah, I cannot believe. Um, stu Stupid thing is, if he got shot, he'd get what he wants, more clicks. <laughs> Maybe. And CT C2W is still saying, most people don't really care. I just feel like you gassing this up when people do dumb shit all the time. <sighs> so I, you're saying that I'm gaslighting you? Or I'm like just like, like trying to make you confused and like trying to make my point to you? You, th you think I'm just doing that? Wow. What the like internet has done to people, guys? Is this like sad level? I always say this, but this is sad. Gassing up. What what does gassing mean? I, whatever, dude. I, I don't give a fuck, man. Like, dude, you literally said he's better than he's better than the like the guys with the OnlyFans, and I'm already like done with that part already. Alright. <laughs> that was a fun content, right? I was so cringe up guys, if you guys hate me for saying this, just just you can just simply leave the stream. The TikToker was like literally harassing people, like not the level of like trolling. They were like he was threatening him to kill kill the people, and also he was literally threatening people, and then also he was like actually touching people, harassing, assaulting, and he was like, "It's the content. You probably get dropped." This is when I asked, dude. Think about if the TikToker does it to your mom, and he was like, he would get probably get dropped. He immediately turns the bad, the the big giga alpha male. And after I I talked him out of it, telling that harassing people isn't a content, and he goes for, uh, I'm joking, bro. It's bad. Ha 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 ha. It's so cringe, man. It always ends up like this. Whenever I talk them out of some sense, they'll be like, they'll be like admitting it kinda, cause they he did admit that he's gonna drop the TikToker guy who does the content that he was mentioning, and then he goes for he go he understood what I was meaning, and then he goes for I was joking. Another alternative, an alternative one is that, bro, that was my brother typing. It wasn't me. <laughs> I always get those types. And he suddenly starts telling me that I feel like you are gassing this up. I wasn't gassing it up, I was just sharing. Maybe I, it, it equals gassing, I don't know. Maybe, okay, okay with that. But And then I was joking there both. And then you should pull your emotions down a little. <sighs> I think, like... The internet space is a lot more, like... Sad than I thought. It's, it's getting more and more sad. The, the, the world is so convenient and so comfort that everybody is just talking smack shit and thinking they're right. Oh, stop recording that. 